means um, coming to an end. Vocabulary refers to knowing the meaning of words and is critical to successful reading comprehension. Building vocabulary involves teaching your learner how to figure out the meaning of words while reading. It also requires selecting and studying the meanings of individual words and parts of words. It's important to relate these vocabulary words to learners' current and prior experiences to help cement them in their word bank. Signal words are words that give a reader clues about what is important in a story. They tell us how to read a text effectively and understand how ideas are organized. They help us understand the structure of a story, what we might expect, and what to look for. So do you want to try to maybe make your own sentence using one of these um, signal mm. words? Okay. Um, pick one. I think I like finally. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's use your experience um, this morning. Just try and think of a short sentence that you can use the word finally. You want me to write it my, while you say my it? My morning started off in a hurry, but finally I got to my meeting. And the result of the meeting... Oh, as a result, uh -huh. we're using two and one, as a result. <laughs> as a result, I got to sit and talk to a friend and I felt much better. Great. So the most important thing is you got to sit and talk to a friend. Mm -hmm. So you clued in the reader by saying, as a result. Mm -hmm. It's great. <laughs> okay. Now, what if in this story that we read, what if we swapped out one signal word for another? In conclusion. Mm -hmm. Like if I put, in conclusion, play technique, when done well, gives adults a chance to understand a child better. Does it change the meaning at all? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. oh. I think so. How? I like as a result. Okay. Yeah. In conclusion, it don't give it as much meaning to me. I think it's a good fit because the sentence before it tells oh, us I didn't read the, the sentence before it says feelings of all sorts may be revealed in play. As a result, play technique gives adults a chance. So as a it. Result. Okay, it's a good it bridge. If I said, in conclusion, play technique, when done well, gives adults a chance to understand a child better. It, it works, but it just doesn't flow as well. A lot of times, this one, this signal word, is used in speeches, the in conclusion. Oh, okay. And it's kind of overused, maybe. Okay. But a lot of public speakers, you'll hear them say, say that when they're giving a speech That's because right. they want people to, if they've zoned out during the speech, they want to bring them back and <laughs> listen to their final statement because okay. that's the most important thing or they're going to wrap up their speech. And that makes good sense to use it more in a speech mm -hmm. form. Good. So in each of these cases, the author is telling us the story's almost over. Yes. Right, And all of the signal words that are in that conclusion category are going to be the same. They're all going to kind of tell us the end is, is coming or the important part you want to pay attention to is next. So do you want to practice um, using one of these in a little paragraph? Okay. Okay. So should we write a few sentences and then which one would you like to use? <laughs> um, I still like finally. You like finally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So finally has to do with time. So it's oh, like it the with... end of okay. something, right? Final, mm -hmm. like when you take a final in school, it's the last test you take. Yes. So finally means the last thing. So it's usually a list or a sequence and then the last thing happens. Okay. So if we're talking about your morning, mm -hmm. give me a couple of steps of what happened and okay. then the final thing. Okay, the main thing was I got to talk to my friend, um, uh, Pete this morning, mm -hmm. and then um, I went to work, and being at work, I got to talk to April, mm -hmm. and then I finally got to come to the library, okay. and then I talked to you. Okay. So I got to talk to Pete this morning, mm -hmm. I went to work, and, I and then I talked to April, April and, and finally, I came to the library. I came to the library and I um, have to talk to you. So if I read that back to you without the word, the, without the signal word, mm -hmm. tell me if it sounds better or, or if it's the same. Okay. okay. I got to talk to Pete, my friend Pete this morning. I went to work and I got to talk to April. Mm -hmm. I came to the library and talked to you. 
That's without the signal word. Okay. Now let's read it with the signal word. I got to talk to Pete this morning. I went to work and I got to talk to April. Mm -hmm. Finally, I came to the library and I got to talk to you. Yeah, that like you like finally. finally. It really uh -huh. makes it sound it, more sequential. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there's a sequence, and this is the last thing you did. Yep. We're here right now. <laughs> right now. Okay. What do you think about the strategy of looking for signal words? Where do the signal words, these conclusion words, come in, where do they show up? At the end. The last sentence, uh -huh. right? At the beginning of the last sentence. Yeah. Okay. So that's one strategy you can look at is right at the beginning of the end of the paragraph, whether it's the last sentence. See if any of those um, signal words that we're going to be working on and putting in your little word bank okay. are, are showing up, and those are important parts of the paragraphs. Do you think this is a helpful strategy to kind of highlight them and then talk about what they mean? Yes, and it's, you know what, and this is also new to me. Mm -hmm. I've never knew the words strategy words or uh -huh. signal words. Mm -hmm. um, I never knew anything about that. So to, to see that and and to learn that today mm -hmm. is a really big thing okay. for me. That's so great. I really enjoy That's it. That's great, great. So do you have any questions about signal words? Um, uh, yeah, I can't wait to find out what the rest of There's them are. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, but we'll just do them in small yeah. categories because yeah. they'll all be similar while we're talking about conclusion ones. Then we'll move on to a different category. Also, reading um, now, I'll be looking for. Excellent. That's yeah. the strategy. There you okay. go. That's good. Yeah. Would you like to continue practicing this yes. strategy? Yes. And learning some more signal words so that you can find them? Yes. We'll just highlight them in things that we find and then we read and together? And read, yeah. Okay. So that's what we'll do. Each week we'll practice a few signal words and then over time you'll be able to recognize those signal words and eventually you'll know them all and you can use them, you'll recognize them automatically mm -hmm. and they'll help your comprehension. Okay. And the, the best part will be that this strategy is something you can use on your own when you're reading at home. Okay. You'll know them know because them. we're going to build a whole bank of those for you in your vocabulary. Okay? Signal words and phrases mark relationships between ideas and information. Being able to identify and use signal words is a powerful strategy for learners. Learning them not only increases a learner's vocabulary, it also boosts a person's reading comprehension. Developing background knowledge and a strong vocabulary is key to reading well. For this reason, it's important to explicitly and regularly focus on vocabulary development with your learner. You've seen a tutor do quite a bit of talking when explaining a new strategy. During most lessons, you and your learner would be equally talkative. 